We now discuss how transistors work. The transistor is the core of digital electronics. It is basically an electronic switch. A small current at the input results in a large current at the output. Its operation is thus not unlike that of a mechanical switch. We will study the NPN bipolar junction transistor. It is so called because it is constructed from a sandwich of semiconductor layers of N type, then P type, then N type. The layers are called the emitter, containing a high concentration of mobile electrons that try to diffuse across the transistor. The collector, containing a lower concentration of electrons, which tries to receive these diffusing electrons and the thin base containing holes, which acts as a controllable barrier to the diffusing electrons. In order to drive these electrons, the emitter is connected to a negative voltage source, the collector to a positive voltage source. In terms of digital electronics, these are known respectively as ground and VCC. This external voltage will try to drive electrons from the emitter to the collector. This motion is blocked at the emitter base junction for two reasons. First, some of the mobile electrons that do cross the junction combine with the holes on the other side. This creates a desert lacking mobile charges, called the depletion zone. The presence of this zone impedes the further flow of electrons much like an air bubble trapped in a tube of flowing water. Second, the electrons, now stuck at the base of the junction, produce an excess negative charge. The holes left behind in the emitter produce an excess positive charge. The net effect is a barrier voltage at the junction, which opposes the action of the external source. This further impedes the flow of electrons at the base. Both impediments are removed by continuously drawing out the stuck electrons from the base. This replenishes the mobile holes and removes the barrier voltage. We can now maintain a large flow of electrons from the emitter to the collector. Returning to our original schematic of the transistor, we note that the input current and the output current are drawn in the opposite directions to those of the electron flow. This is in keeping with the convention related to the negative charge of the electron that current is always in the opposite direction to electron flow. 